Oh. All right, guys. It is now an exciting Tuesday night. It is the second night of 2024. Uh, that would be Tuesday night, January 2nd, 2024. So, beginning of a new year. So, uh, <clears throat> I am off to out with the old, in with the new. And I'm really going to make my New Year's resolution this year. My number one New Year's resolution is to get a woman in my life. So, of course, I have to get out with the old before I get in with the new. So I thought, I, 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 I had some crazy idea that maybe sending Dulcinea an, an email, goodbye Maggie. Uh, what, what, that I thought I would like, like send a, a two sentence email uh, th th to the woman I love saying thank you for four and a half years uh, of chaotic drama hell but uh, as much as I've enjoyed the adventure darling I need to move on with my fucking life Find a woman who actually wants to be with me uh, instead of being like Lucy holding the fucking football uh, waiting for Charlie Brown to come cook, kick it so she can yank it out. So I thought maybe uh, this intelligent woman could understand an email, goodbye Maggie, and it actually seemed to work for two days. <laughs> but now Dulcinea wants to know why I am so mad at her. So why, while Dulcinea, <laughs> oh God, <laughs> why uh, the the woman who has caused me more grief than any human being, uh, including my own dear sweet dead ex-wife, ever caused me, wondering why I am so mad at her. I am pressing ahead on a um, pile of fish. I am determined that I am going to, uh, to figure out how to move ahead with my life, find the woman of my dreams, be she doomer chick, normie, whatever. Uh, so, you know, I'm, I'm going around doing research on, on what kind of man do women want. Uh, because obviously, you know, they must not want the kind of man I am. So I'm over here on medium.com and uh, checking in with this woman who I check in with, fairly regular name, named Tessa Schlesinger. Tessa Schlesinger. Uh, she is some sort of shrink, some sort of therapist. I don't know. So, uh, she actually has, I guess, this is a reprint of an article. <clears throat> I guess she first wrote it about 10 years ago today, but I guess it's still more appropriate than ever, titled, The Perfect Man. The Perfect Man That Women Want. Okay. So, ham a little tail obviously is not the perfect man that women want. I can't even get Dulcinea to look at me uh, uh, out of the corner of her eye. So uh, I need to learn what the perfect man is. So what is the perfect man? I kid you not, he is an ISTJ man an ISTJ man, and I'm thinking, well, <coughs> that's exactly what I am. So apparently, 16% of men, according to all of these, you know, these little psych psychoanalytic breakdowns or whatever, somehow Tess has come up with the idea that 16% of men uh, are ISTJ men and they're the ones who get the girls. So if, 
if you want to get the girls, you just become an ISTJ man. And, and, and as I told her, you know, in the comment to her story is, hey, I already am an ISTJ man. So where are all these hordes of women that are supposed to be fighting over me? I am impulsive, sarcastic, temperamental, and jauntist. You can find me in the reject pile at Pile of Fish. Yes, that is me. Uh, ISTJ. Uh, impulsive, sarcastic, temperamental, and jauntist. And I'm wondering where the hell all of these women looking for the 16% of us all right, but we are going to take a lesson. What is an ISTJ male? The typical male wanted by every woman, every woman on the planet, meaning 100% of women on the planet, including Dulcinea, obviously, since she's married one of these guys. Uh, you know, obviously Dulcinea is living proof that, that all women want an ISTG male, a TJ male, because she married one. Uh, so if Dulcinea is going to marry one, any woman it, wants one of these guys. So I just figure, you know, in, instead of trying to convince Dulcinea to leave her ISTJ husband, for me, I just have to learn to become an ISTJ male because every woman wants uh, what 16% of the guys are. Okay. The ISTJ is the man every woman dreams of. He is hardworking, thorough, both serious and sincere. And 16% of men fit his profile. He is methodical in his tasks and loyal to his friends. Okay. Uh, look around at this goddamn... I moved into this fucking trailer on November 3rd. All right? Uh, if, if, if anybody uh, is, is methodical in their fucking tasks, it's me, loyal to their friends. Ask Dulcinea. Talk about a uh, good God. Uh, loyal uh, to your friends and fucking loyal for four and a half years. Uh, I, I am one of the most loyal friends. Uh, ask uh, San Sancho Panza, am I a loyal friend or not? So, there you go. Uh, when discussing something, he is the type to get his facts straight. So he is not going to say something just to score points. He is not a risk taker. Huh. So he won't be a gambler. Yeah, there you go. Uh, a risk taker. Uh, I, I go back and forth between a uh, pile of fish dating service and uh, investing in Florida real estate in the year 2024, I think I might be slipping uh, in, in, into the impulsive. All right. While this means he will not be predisposed to taking a risk in business, it does mean that when he finally decides to set up a business, he has done sufficient research and found enough resources to ensure that the business succeeds. And this is why I am a super, super host at Airbnb, obviously. All right. What IST 
TJ stands for? So what do you think the I stands for that every woman on the planet is looking for? I could be in a little bit of trouble here, guys. Uh, or ladies, <clears throat> he is an introvert. An introvert. All women are looking for introverts. This means that his sense of joy and inner worth comes from within and does not depend on other people. Uh, you know, such as, uh, you know, as my mama, you know, her one of her many uh, pieces of advice that I was raised on, you know, as soon as you start making your happiness dependent on the decisions of somebody else to do what you want them to do to make you happy, you are setting your self up for heartbreak. The number one way to get your heart broken, or I mean, on a romantic level, or pretty much any level, whatever it is, if you uh, decide that you are not going to be happy till some other human, uh, usually a romantic interest, uh, you know, makes a decision to fit your wants and desires, you're fucked. I think that's what uh, they're talking about, but I don't really know why that has to do with being an introvert. It, meaning being an introvert, makes him strong. Okay, how about the letter S? S stands for sense, and it means that while he does not depend on intuition for his decisions, it does mean that he checks all the facts to see if they are based in reality. And the reality is we are so fucked. Every single fact that I check, checks off the box. We are so fucked. This is not just an intuition. It's not just a, 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 a an, an, an intuitive sense. That's not what she means. Uh, th this is an obvious reading of the facts. He uses his senses I looking, hearing, smelling, touching if he's lucky, and feeling to evaluate situations. Okay, the letter T. The letter T means he is a thinker. He is a thinker with a capital T. This means rather then make decisions based on his feelings. His decisions are based on analysis. He is therefore not easy to manipulate. And there you go. It is not easy to throw a thinker, you know, uh, throw a, a, a few little crumbs his way once uh, every six months. Throw, throw, throw the dude a few little crumbs and, and have your little trained pigeon. <clears throat> His decisions are based on analysis. Yes, not easy to manipulate. <clears throat> lastly, and I think this one is my downfall, ladies. Lastly, J stands for judgment. Yes. This means that he is not comfortable with leaving something in the air. He needs closure. Yeah, <laughs> he needs closure. 
like uh, you, you, you know after four and a half years uh, of, of waiting uh, for the woman he loves to shit her get off the pot he needs closure and this in turns means that he gets things done it can also mean that he is inclined to make decisions about some things he does not have sufficient experience in. It can mean he is judgmental in the worst possible way. There you go. It is a mixed bag uh, when your J stands for judgment instead of jauntist or jaded. Okay. Question, ladies, is an ISTJ man, is he boring or reliable? Could be a little bit of both. If you are, if you are, apparently if you're a woman, uh, seeking a man who is spontaneous, which is another word for impulsive, uh, if you are seeking a man who is spontaneous, which obviously Dulcinea is not seeking, <clears throat> this is not your man. Yes, the ISTJ man is so reliable that he could be considered boring by those who are just out for fun. This is a man who will look at the long-term outcome when making decisions, it makes him cautious. Yes, these type of men uphold the status quo and continue with societal traditions. They do not embrace change. He is ultra reliable and ultra responsible. To those raised in insecurity, he is the ultimate safety blanket. He will never, never permit anything bad to happen to those he is invested in. Yes, he is practical and logical. You could almost say that the ISTG TJ man is the backbone of society. He is practical and logical. When something needs to be done, he will do it. When something needs to be thought of and a decision made, he will do it thoroughly, ensuring that he did not miss anything. This guy will always, will always put his duty before his personal desires. So, he is good husband material and good corporation material. Yes, he is a superb employee and a wonderful father. He can be a bit difficult when it comes to more creative pursuits or to those who challenge the status quo. So if you are a woman uh, who wants to challenge the status quo, might not want to go for the, uh, the uh, ISTJ man. We cannot have any challenging the status quo. Uh, this is a long way of saying normie man, uh, if you haven't figured this out yet, ladies. Can be a challenge to those who challenge the status quo, yeah. To him, moral obligations come first. He is the guy who will rescue the child who is in a dangerous situation. He won't think twice about putting his life in danger. And he knows a lot. 
these men have a lot of information at their fingertips. This is because they pay attention to things around them. If it's real, if it is real, then they notice. As a result, he probably knows how to fix the toilet, to upload a website, and do the foxtrot. Okay, I, uh, I have to say, nine out of ten times, I don't know how to fix the toilet. Uh, I do not know how to upload a website, and I sure as shit cannot do the foxtrot. Yes. Uh, okay, so what are the ISTJ does have his downside. Everyone has their downsides. The ISTG, I keep saying G, the ISTJ isn't going to have much time for failure. What he considers a loser or anything that he personally cannot resolve, he does not have much of a capacity for seeing the pain or difficulties inside other people. He has never been interested in exploring why some people struggle so much. Yes. To this man, everything is done in a certain way. If it doesn't work, he will still persist in doing it that way until it does work. And sometimes he does. He will never accept what is not traditional. So it's a uh, it's a good thing that uh, Dulcinea is so traditional that uh, she uh, she roped in her uh, ISTJ man. I you know I, I, I've I've never figured out how Dulcinea roped one of these one, one, one of these supermen. Yes, to him, a home needs to be tidy, a child needs to score good grades at school, and the rain needs to fall in winter. If it's not happening, then the victim is to blame. Yes. As a result of his great love for tradition, duty, and the status quo, plus his need to judge, he is best suited to those professions and careers that are strongly associated with implementing or enforcing what is right this could include the military, there you go, enforcing what is right. The U.S. military, there, you, yeah, yeah, if, if I had to pick the epitome of, of a man enforcing what is right, it would be a soldier, a cop, a lawyer, or even a politician. He is by nature authoritarian. He therefore will fully obey those he considers above him. He will also expect to be unquestionably obeyed by those he considers below him. Yes. While the man will pursue the public good, he is at some level unable to comprehend fully what the public good is. Yes. All right. And finally, what all the ladies really want to know, I guess, is he good in bed? Is an ISTJ man good in bed, otherwise known 
is he romantic? Does this sound like a, a, a romantic interest? This man makes a solid, reliable mate, just like Dulcinea's very nice husband. He will provide for his family and carry out all duties expected of him. He is also likely to want a submissive wife. Yes, is that is the traditional role. I, you know, I, I try to think of this dude, uh, this ISTJ man, uh, having Dulcinea as a submissive wife. <laughs> there, there you go. I, you know my, my, uh, you know my my dear sweet uh, late great ex-wife in the ham sandwich moment. Heil Hitler! Heil Hitler! Heil Hitler! Heil Hitler! <laughs> oh God, uh, that's me uh, always ending up with these submissive women. Uh, yeah, let, let, let me tell you about the, 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 long, the long line of submissive women uh, littering the train wrecks of my romantic history. Have I ever in my entire life uh, been in a relationship with a submissive woman? Good fucking God. <clears throat> he is probably overly quiet, but he makes up for this by being the one who will always pay the rent or mortgage on time and never out there spending the family food budget at the races. This is the man who will meet the woman of his dreams in a church at a social event or in business, <clears throat> he will definitely not be interested in the kind of woman who flaunts herself on Tinder or OK Cupid. There you go. Yes, he will definitely not be interested and any kind of bimbo being so desperate to go looking for the an ISTJ man on pile of fish. He takes his relationship seriously, and he is probably the best of the lot in doing so. It just might be a bit unfortunate that if you are a woman who is not of the traditional type, he is unlikely to be interested in you. Yes, he will think it out thoroughly before he pops the question. So now you know. <laughs> now I know that uh, there is no way uh, that, that a woman is going to find an ISTJ man uh, on, on pile of fish, so maybe I'm safe being, uh, what, what was I, irascible, uh, smart-ass, uh, temperamental and jaded. But I see I have my first message of the year from this uh, hippie chick in Gainesville, uh, you know, which is really uh, Gainesville is where I should be probably if, I, if I'm looking for a woman. You know, Gainesville, it's where the University of Florida where I went to grad school. It's kind of like Gainesville is to Florida as Austin is to Texas. You know, it's the university town where those uh, lefties tend to congregate. So I have some, uh, <clears throat> some probably uh, lefty um, hippie chick nibbling at my line. Uh, she uh, told me 
I love your dog. She says she loves my dog and she hopes I am having a great evening. And so uh, I'm going while uh, Dulcinea uh, figures out why I am so mad at her after four and a half years of waiting for her to shut her gut off the pot. Uh, while she f figures that out, I am going to charge ahead in the never-ending search for love in the end times. Wish me luck with the hippie chick from Gainesville who loves my dog. Bye, guys. All right, little dog, there's a hippie chick who loves you. Do you want to meet a hippie chick who loves you? Uh, Jesus.